Tech news, Realme 6i is now officially available in the Philippines and before you buy this phone, you should see first this in-depth gaming review. In this video, we will test its performance, battery, and FPS counter. We will run the games in max settings and with the recommended settings para makita natin ang full capacity or full potential ng phone na ito. And the games that we will test are first, the basics, Mobile Legends with full resources downloaded, Call of Duty, Asphalt 9, and PUBG Mobile. Then, the not-so-familiar games in the reviews, Honkai Impact, Black Desert, and NBA 2K20. And also, we will test the stream on those famous games after we test the frame rates. So before we start, Realme 6i is powered by MediaTek Helio G80, a chip that is specifically made to deliver great performance in mobile games without increasing the price. In short, budget gaming chipset. G80 is also an upgrade for the famous G70 that comes from the Realme C3. It has a hyper engine system which boosts frame rates and lowers the latency, meaning better and immersive gameplay satisfaction. So quick specs, we got the 4 gig version, 128 gigs internal storage, Android 10.0 with Realme UI on top, 720p IPS LCD panel, 5000 milliamp battery capacity with up to 18 watts fast charging so that's it let's dive into the game so before we begin the test let me turn on the performance in the battery settings and the competition mode in the game space app and we will start at 100% battery and we will update you guys later so last video about our unboxing of the realme 6i pinakita namin sa inyo ang results ng benchmarks ito pakita ulit namin along with the geekbench so the first in our list is the popular game here in the Philippines, the Mobile Legends. By the way, we are using KF Mark to measure some FPS, but unfortunately it is so buggy. But we'll leave it there for you to see some FPS updates on the screen. And also as I observed, it is not that accurate in some of the games. The refresh time of its overlay is not in real time, and it cannot show higher than 32 frames. We don't have GameBench app yet to accurately measure FPS, but we'll stick with this for now. So as you can see, smooth and lag free, there's no delay or whatsoever, and as I mentioned earlier, we already download the full resources of the game. The GPU is basically doing its job as usual, and wag nyo na lang pansinin yung pangalan ng isa. So some of you will ask if the device will stumble in clash fights or team fights. Well, I guess not. As you can see here, even with the Hero X board that has a lot of visual skills, we can see that it remains smooth and the game is constantly performing well in this device. Alright, next game, Call of Duty. We are locked at low settings, probably kasi bago lang processor and it is not optimized yet. And you will see in the top side of the screen that KF Mark is now updating but in half of the 30 frames. But that's not the feel on hands-on, it feels 30 frames. And that's why, sabi ko kanina, di siya ganon ka-accurate sa ibang games. But yeah, we can refer to the visuals na lang muna. It is stutter-free. Gyroscope is turned on while I'm playing, but I'm practicing my aim with just a swipe. Kasi pag nag-gyro ako, every gameplay may hilo lang kayo at minsan out of frame na sa camera yung phone. So let's go ahead to the next game, Asphalt 9. The recommended settings is in default but we'll see the high quality option later if it is smooth. Our FPS counter is accurately updating in this game and upon observation, it has an average of 30 FPS and 99% stability. Usually the frame drops occurs when you start to hit a car and it switches camera perspective. But surprisingly with the Realme 6i, we don't see any signs of that stutter. Now let's switch from default to high quality. It is still stutter free, 30 FPS average pa rin, same score instability, and to sum things up, there's no problem playing in Asphalt 9. Now moving on to the next game, the famous game, PUBG Mobile. 
We are only at high settings, we cannot choose the higher options, but we will use a GFX tool later to bump some settings. We are surprised how the game performs, probably the developer is slightly optimizing the game. Last devices kasi we are experiencing stutters upon landing due to rendered buildings. But what we notice is that it pre-renders the building while you are still parachuting. That removes the sudden frame drops and stuttering. Now let's open the GFX tool to boost our settings. And we are now running in HDR quality plus extreme frame rates. And to be honest, for me, I didn't notice some changes in the performance. Even we are using 99% of our GPU. We're expecting to see sudden frame drops but it turns out pretty smooth. The boosted performance though causes the device to heat up a little bit. So we're about to test the last remaining games that I mentioned, Honkai Impact 3 where it turns out smooth with 60 fps but the stability is not so good it stumbles when the cg comes in or if it will start to introduce some story in the scenes but overall it gives you satisfaction pa rin. black desert well, this game already recommends high settings and playing this game in a 720p screen is not the best but it's decent. The texture is a bit blurry but overall gameplay is nice, no stutter upon using skills and dodging. I even max it out and the game still works well on the Realme 6i. Yeah. The Hyper Engine system did pretty well on optimizing the gameplay in most heavy-duty, graphic-intensive games. And as a gamer myself, whether it is on mobile or PC or console, games that are enjoyable and free-to-play is really worth it. Tagdagan mo pa ng magandang hardwares na kaya makapag-enable ng high settings, sulit na din naman kahit papano. So this is our update in our battery capacity, 60% in just 2 hours of gameplay. So a lot of you may be thinking, bakit yung Realme C3, 5000 mAh din pero 80% pa lang nababawas sa 2 hours of gameplay? Well, to make it simple, high performance means a sacrifice to your battery life. Sabayan mo pa ng performance mode sa settings and competitive mode in the game space app, it's like you overclock the Helio G80 and it turns out pretty good naman in terms of performance. And yeah, we can say that it is reasonable. So here's a bonus clip. We installed Streamlabs and streamed our gameplay on Facebook Gaming. As you can see on our second device, we are currently streaming on Facebook. And I tried to play Call of Duty which is pretty good, no lags, no delays, and no limbos yung pabalik-balik sa pwesto dahil sa taas ng ping. And then PUBG Mobile, still pretty good, uh, no sudden stutter or frame drops. Multitasking is a big check to Realme 6i. So overall in terms of performance, you the gamer will surely love this phone. It has large battery, powerful mid-range chipset, large storage capacity, and even the price bumps up a little bit, it is still reasonable. It is still an affordable mid-range phone. And if you're tight in a budget, you can still choose the budget king, the Realme 5i. It is still has a decent power, but if you have some extra box, you might wanna check out this new phone. So I hope marami kaming naibahaging kaalaman sa inyong mga isipan. And if you're still here watching this video, take a second to subscribe to our channel. We will be making a lot of content and useful infos. And don't forget to visit manilashaker.com for more tech news, reviews, and comparisons of the latest smartphones. Again, this is Aishadel of manilashaker.com. Stay home. Stay safe. Yeah. Yeah.